Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to rearrange the formula V equals one third pi r squared h, which is used to work out the volume of a cone. So let's have a look at the examples here. So the first example, we're going to make h the subject of this formula. So let me just copy out V equals a third pi r squared h. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of this fraction here, one third. And to do that, I'm just going to times both sides by three. Okay, so V times three is three V. And that third will cancel out with the three to give pi r squared h. Okay, so h is now being multiplied by pi r squared. So the opposite would be to divide by pi r squared. So on the left hand side we'll have 3v over pi r squared equals h. So we've now just made h the subject, so if we just put it the correct way with the h on the left hand side. And that is our formula for the height of the cone. So let's have a look at the second example. So this time we've got to make r the subject of v equals a third pi r squared h. So let me just copy out the formula again. Okay, so like the first example, I'm just going to times both sides by 3 to cancel out the 1 third. So that will give me 3v equals pi r squared h. So r squared is now being multiplied by pi h. So I've just got to divide by pi, uh, pi h on both sides. So on the left hand side this one can be written as 3v over pi h. And that's equal to r squared. So there's one last inverse to do. That's the opposite to a square, which is a square root. So r would be equal to the square root of 3v over pi h. And let's just put the r on the correct side. And that is the formula for working out the radius of the cone if you're given the volume and the height. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.